Good morning. Pastor Sean here. Today is Wednesday, June 1st, and this is your morning prayer. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. O come, let us worship him. All right. I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm departing from the usual um, schedule of readings in the Treasury of Daily Prayer. Um, just kind of wanting to mix it up a little bit, <laughs> I guess. Um, so I thought we'd just start going through um, some epistles and... Just have some, some fun with that. So we're going to start off with uh, Galatians. So Galatians chapter 1 for today. Paul, an apostle, not from men nor through man, but through Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead, and all the brothers who are with me, to the churches of Galatia, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins to deliver us from the present evil age according to the will of our God and Father to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting him who called you in the grace of Christ, and are turning to a different gospel. Not that there is another one, but there are some who trouble you and want to distort the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary to the one we preach to you, let him be accursed. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone is preaching to you a gospel contrary to the one you received, let him be accursed. For am I now seeking the approval of man or of God? Or am I trying to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. For I would have you know, brothers, that the gospel that was preached to me is not man's gospel. For I did not receive it from any man, nor was I taught it, but I received it through a revelation of Jesus Christ. For you have heard of my former life in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God violently and tried to destroy it. And I was advancing in Judaism beyond many my own age among my people, so extremely zealous was I for the traditions of my fathers. But when he who had set me apart before I was born, and who called me by his grace, was pleased to reveal his son to me, in order that I might preach to him among the Gentiles, I did not immediately consult with anyone, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me, but I went away into Arabia and returned again to Damascus. Then after three years I went up to Jerusalem to visit Cephas, and remained with him fifteen days. But I saw none of the other apostles except James, the Lord's brother. And what I am writing to you before God, I do not lie. Then I went into the regions of uh, Syria and Cilicia, and I was still unknown in person to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. They, were only, uh, they only were hearing it, said, uh, He who used to persecute us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy. And they glorified God because of me. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days, he's spoken to us by his son. All right, so the beginning of, of Paul's letter to the Galatians. And um, let's see, I mean, the, the big, <laughs> the big kind of um, exhortation here is um, that uh, there, um, if anybody teaches a gospel other than the gospel, the gospel that that was preached, uh, that, that comes from the word, um, let them be accursed. So there there is no other gospel. Um, and one of the interesting things that Paul says here is even even if an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary to the one we preach to you, let him be accursed. Um, which is <laughs> kind of an amazing thing to say. You know, even if an angel from heaven, which is like, oh my goodness, you know, people often talk about hearing voices, you know, and angels or, or the voice of God. And, <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't, um, usually whenever somebody shares something like that with me, I don't immediately discount it because it's, it's entirely possible that uh, God has 
audibly spoken to someone or has sent an angel to speak on his behalf. He has been known to do that from time to time. But it's always the content of what was spoken. That's the key. Um, because I've, I've talked to a handful of people who are convinced that they either heard the voice of God or an angel speaking to them. But what was being told to them was either completely contrary to the gospel or at the very least it, it was it had nothing to do with the gospel um, and yet the, their conviction was was so strong that it, it, this must have been from God but Paul is making a point here that no if it is not the gospel that is contained in the word of God it is not of God he doesn't care what what it is who, who's telling it to you um, if it is a different gospel if it is not the gospel of Jesus Christ it is no good whatsoever. Um, Luther has a fun little thing that he says um, where he says even if, um, referring to the word, being the word being the place where God has promised to speak from, um, he said that even if, if uh, Jesus himself was to appear before him and to start speaking to him, um, that he would cling to the word of God, the, the, the written word, um, and, and, and not listen to anything else. Uh, the idea being that, you know, well, Jesus has not promised to, to deliver his word in that way. And so because of that, Luther can't trust that, you know, so it, it might not be Jesus. Um, you know, it could be, could be some, you know, trick of the devil, whatever. Um, you know, the devil doesn't look <laughs> like a little red horned guy. The devil looks like an angel of light. So, um, it's always about going back to the word and, and hearing what the content is and making sure it is actually aligning with the gospel of Christ. Um, that is how we test everything. You know, I, I encourage everybody, even, um, you know, especially in my Bible studies, you know, I tell the, our Sunday school class that, test, you know, look, if something doesn't sit well, then I say, check it against God's word. Okay. And if, if what I've said departs from that, then call me out on it because that needs to stop. Um, we must test all things against God's word. And that's, that's tricky. Well, it's not tricky, but it's hard for us to do. We don't want to do that. Um, because I think if we were to test everything against God's word, we would find out that we hold to a lot of things. Well, a lot of our, a lot of our ways of thinking would be, we'd have to get, you know, wouldn't have to abandon. <laughs> we'd have to reshape a lot of our ideas, a lot of our opinions. Um, and, and most of us are not willing to do that. Most people are not willing to change <laughs> the way they think, the way they want to think. Um, but, you know, we, we always, people are always coming up with their own gospel, their own good news. And uh, everybody is proclaiming their own gospel in some way or another. Um, and Paul is, is reminding us here, you know, if anyone preaches any gospel, any good news that is apart from the gospel of Christ, let them be accursed. I mean, that's serious stuff. Let them be accursed. Um so this is this is a good uh, wake up call for us that you know test all things you know whenever anybody is preaching any kind of good news um be it about Jesus be it about anything you know good news that's what gospel is good news um but yeah especially if it deals with God his word Jesus um yeah we need to be very careful with that, that kind of stuff we need to be testing it against the word of God so that way we can be sure that um, we're dealing with truth and with salvation and with the power of God. I mean, his word is powerful, so you got to be careful of that stuff. So, yeah. All right. Um, I think that'll do it for today. Good stuff to, to start off with here. So, um, All right, let us pray. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, You've safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all of our doings, being ordered by your governance, may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now taught by our Lord and trusting his promises, we are bold to pray. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and Merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen. Well, blessings to you on this Wednesday. Half the week gone already, and it's and it's June. I can't believe it. half the year, half the year has gone by already, or is about to go by. So anyway, crazy stuff. But I uh, hope you have a great day, and um, until tomorrow morning, peace be with you.